Good evening, folks, and welcome to this week's episode of Beer Rating with Sean Connors. Back to the Trooper Pack. Uh, I've been doing this for the last couple months. I've been doing maybe one a month type thing. Basically, it was a group of six different beers, two of each, from the Trooper Collection, which is a collection of beers and done by Robinson Brewery in the UK, but in collaboration with the lead singer of Iron Maiden, I think Bruce Dickinson. So these are the five that I've already done, so i got one more left. So quickly go through the five that I've done. This one is Sun and Steel. That was a Saki infused lager. And I actually, this is one that I didn't really think I was going to enjoy, but I actually did quite a bit. So that's Sun and Steel. And this one is called Hallowed. And it was a inspired Belgium ale. I got that correct. Then it was a red and black porter, obviously porter in English beer. Then we had the Troop, Trooper Light Brigade, a golden beer. I'm not sure if this one was an ale or a lager. This says a golden beer. I'm pretty sure it was an ale, but not 100%. A portion of the proceeds of this one actually went to Hope for Heroes, a military charity in the UK and then there was the Trooper Premium British Beer that was one I did quite a while ago actually this one in the Porter I believe I did before I even had the pack about them as individual beers a while back so with that being said there's only one left and that would be how or 666 which I thought was appropriate considering it's only a couple days before Halloween October 28th here there you, go, you can see it and as for many of the other beers, pretty cool bottle cap as well. I think the artwork is inspired by Elden Covers. There you go. And before I actually read the label and get a little bit of information, I'll just show you the box again. It's a cardboard box. From a distance, it looks like it's like a kind of like a speaker box, audio equipment box, but it's just a cardboard box. But it's still pretty neat. Some pretty cool graphics. I should I get before I. Uh, just kind of show you the what I can here. Bear with me for a second. One man operation as per usual. So it shows the different beers there. Eddie on the side here. And some more graphics up on top here. Alright, so I'll zoom out. And I said this is the last beer of the six. Alright, so I'm just going to lay the box here. And back to the 666, see what I can get out of it. So this is Iron Maiden limited, limited Edition, Robinson Brewery, as I mentioned. This one's, as I said, the beer is 666, premium British beer, and the alcohol content, can anybody guess? 6.6. .6. The boys are on the ball with this one. All right, on the back, the information says, Onward, Onward Road, the 666. And I'm no Iron Maiden expert, but I got a feeling that might be a part of a lyric to a song. If you know, let me know. It says, The charge of the Light, Light Brigade took place at the Battle of Balaclava, 1854, during the Crimean War, inspiring the, inspiring the Iron Maiden song, The Trooper. Recent research has found that 666 British cavalrymen charged the massed Russian guns rather than the 600 previously recorded. The gallant but foolhardy action resulted in a massive loss, loss of life and was due to misunderstanding an order given by Lord Raglan. It says, We created Trooper 666, charged with even more flavor and more alcohol, but brewed to the same great recipe of the, of the original Trooper. Uh, and that's about it. So I'm going to give my glass a quick cold water rinse. And as I said, each beer came with two. So I'll probably have the other one tonight if it's enjoyable. So I'm giving my glass a quick cold water rinse as per usual. And that's just rather than stored in the freezer, which I don't recommend. This basically just gives it a quick cold water rinse and cools in the glass, gets rid of any dust that might be there. And kind of almost like an extra step in the cleaning process. Alright. Let's pour it up and see where we go. So a nice color, a little, I wouldn't really say gold, almost like a golden reddish not a lot of head but a little bit there Ooh. 
quite a bit of aroma there. I'm assuming this one's an ale. Being British, it's a good chance it's an ale. I know somebody's probably going to come back and say, oh, the British are, you know, they got a lot of lagers too, but from what I know about beer, I'm no beer expert. I think ales in the history of UK were more prominent than lagers. I think that's safe to say. Wow. Um, a lot of flavor on that one. However, it doesn't linger. And what I mean by that for me, I'm not a big fan of a beer where I drink it and there's an aftertaste that stays there for any amount of time. It's got a lot of flavor, but it doesn't kind of linger. There's not a lot of aftertaste, which I like. Originally I got a lot of aroma from it, but now I'm not getting it as much. Um, not a beer, not a bad beer. I wouldn't say it's the best beer I've ever had, but I don't even know if I'd say it's the best one in the pack, but I wouldn't say it's the worst one either. Um, my ratings, as always, I give them out of five. A one bean, don't like it, can't finish it. I'm literally going to pour it down the drain. I think since I've started doing these reviews twice. Uh, two would be, yeah, I'm not a big fan. However, I'll drink it because I don't want to waste a beer. I've had a few of those. This is better than that. A three would be a good beer. Kind of possible range. A four would be a very good beer. Possibly, but I doubt it. A five would be, heaven's opened up. God handed me through the clouds of beer. So with that being said, this is somewhere between three minimum, four maximum. So it's either going to be a three, 3.5, or a four. I don't think it's a four yet. Now I've, it is possible I could take another taste and I could find, go, yeah, you know, I'm enjoying this more than I thought. But I'm thinking this is probably going to be either three or 3.5, which is a good beer, an average beer. Um, I'm actually enjoying it quite a bit, so I think I'm going to give it a 3.5, so that's in between a good beer and a very good beer. So that's a fairly good rating on my scale. And I love the graphics. Good old Eddie. Well, actually, the graphics on a lot of these beers are pretty, pretty amazing for, for a beer. If you get the chance, pick up the Trooper Pack, go through them. Make a comment, tell me which ones you like, which ones you didn't like. If you liked them all or you hated all of them, I'd love to know. Uh, Beer Rating with Sean Connors on YouTube or on Facebook. So if you get the chance, by all means, look me up. So once again, for my last beer of the Trooper Collection, the, the Bruce Dickinson slash Robinson's Brewery, 666, 6.6% alcohol, just before Halloween, 3.5. Until next beer, cheers. Wash your hands and happy Halloween, 666.